YouTube Pedalboard Nerds. And I'm saying Pedalboard Nerds because if you're a pedal nerd and you're into sound, then uh, what I'm going to show you is of uh, relatively no interest to you because it doesn't make a sound. Not one. Uh, we're talking about a buffer. And uh, I was very naive about what a buffer is until I had to do my first buffer review. And I have to say, uh, I prepared that review so well that you could very, very clearly hear a big difference between crappy sound and the buffered sound. Now, what I prepared here already sounds pretty good without the buffer because now I've got better cables and all this. So let's talk about these things. On the other review, I had 11 True bypass cables? Uh, what? <laughs> a true bypass cable? Yes, a cable is always true bypass. I had 11 true bypass pedals, no power to them, so you could clearly see they were all true bypass, and all of them were connected with these little, I gotta say, crappy little Joyo cables. The Joyo patch cables might be inexpensive, you get them in packs of five, but they're not the highest quality cable. So what happens is you've got... Lean back here. You got eleven of the. Uh, you get eleven pedals, which are tiny little cables if they're true bypass, so the current just passes through them. And that means eleven pedals. That's twenty-two connectors, and that also means then eleven or twelve, whatever of these cables. And that's a lot of connectors, a lot of cable that can eat up your sound, and you could clearly hear that the sound was being eaten up. Now, let's talk about cables for a second. Quality of the cables is important. These you could use if you're on a budget, but be aware that they're going to eat up your sound. Then you're going to have to invest in something like the Bonafide Buffer by TC Electronics. Um, if you invest in higher quality cables that can definitely improve your sound, the more pedals and the more cables you have, the more likely is it is that you will need a buffer. So these cables, yes, you can use, but I wouldn't. Then I see pedal boards with actually nice stuff on it. And they have these, I don't even have these, it's plastic cables that are all like one piece of plastic, uh, different colors, probably five for 10 bucks. Do not use these. I made myself a lot of these cables, okay? Um, they are a pancake plug on the top, flat one on the bottom for going into a looper, or straight one, very high-end Zomer cable, black silk, but thick as cables, bendy but thick, very high quality, but makes the pedal board kind of ugly. Now, my cable of choice, as you know, are these Evidence Audio patch cables. They are among the most expensive you can buy. Uh, solderless. Not super bendy because they have a thick piece of copper in the middle, a solid piece of copper, but very high quality, but you're going to spend 90 bucks for five, so that's almost 20 bucks a cable. Obviously, there can be different length, but still, almost 20 bucks a cable. Uh, almost all the cables on this board, except one or two, which are Planet Waves solderless cables, which are also nice in quality, um, are actually these Moen. They kind of look like lava cables, but they seem to be a Chinese copy of the lava cable, also solderless. And so they're higher quality. I think they're about 68 or 69 bucks for five. Definitely higher quality, which means that this board right off the bat already sounds better than the board I did in uh, the other buffer demo, which is the armor buffer by Dr. J, which is bigger than the Bonafide. The Bonafide is a nice little tool. You just want your sound to be good. Now, why is the sound good when you use a buffer? You ask me. Well, at the side of, uh, on, on the side, it says input one ohm, output a hundred. Or more than, or more than one ohm. I don't know electronic-y stuff. It's something about, I'm going to say impedance. Is ohm impedance? Widerstand. Widerstand in German. Resistance. Impedance? Resistance. Resistance is bona fide for the Trekkies. Are you a Trekkie? I don't know. So, I really have no idea. Um, it does something to the signal to allow it to travel longer distances unimpeded. I don't know. So, here's my setup. I've got 10 true bypass pedals. Warus Audio, KHDK, 
and five joyos all true bypass what pedals those are really no one cares because we're not going to listen to them they're not even plugged in they do not have power they're true bypass i'm using this walrus audio transit which is a true bypass switcher. It is powered, but it doesn't have a buffer built in. I made sure I talked to Colt from Walrus Audio and said, Colt, I need to make sure that it's not buffered. He says, no, it's not buffered. It's a true bypass switcher, unbuffered. So I have all these pedals in series in loop number two, right here. So when this is on, the pedals are on. In loop number one, I've got the bonafide buffer, so I can put it in front of these pedals and take it out of the chain. On the floor that you cannot see right there. Can, can you see it now? Can, can you see can you see it now? Can you see? Can you see it now? I have the Ditto X4. In which I've played a little clean loop with that D'Angelico guitar. And that's going right up there through the looper, in out, into the huge Sinketna. Hughes, huge. I just said that. Huge. That's wrong. Into the Hughes and Ketner Deluxe 20 on clean. So what we're doing is, with these Moen Chinese lava cable copies, uh, and this transit by Walrus Audio, Walrus Audio, we're listening to direct signal going into the Hughes and Ketner. It sounds like this. <laughs> And I use the looper so it's always the same signal. Um, then we're going to go through all the pedals now. You get the idea? So when this light is on, you're hearing 10 pedals in series connected. Again, with decent cables. And when this light is on in addition, number one, you hear, you're hearing the buffer in front of it. So you can hear whether the buffer has an effect or not. So, we're going to try this now. Going straight into the amp, and then I'm going to do some clicky switching and show you whether there's an effect or not. Obviously, there is an effect. A buffer does affect your signal. The question is, did I make my chain of 10 pedals and cables bad enough in quality so that the buffer is needed? You know? Just for shits and giggles, maybe if you have a bigger board, get a buffer anyway. Just to be sure. It's, it's the just to be sure pedal just to be sure that your signal is good. So we're going to listen. That's it. That's pretty much the demo. Um, the difference is very small, but clearly because I know how to build a pedal board. Now, back in the day, when I first did a buffer test, the difference was, I mean, the board sucked so much, so much uh, tone because of this. You know, they sucked tone because of bad cables. Or let's put it this way, not high quality cables. Obviously, if you spend 20 bucks on five cables versus 20 bucks on one cable, it makes a huge difference. Um, now the question is, do you invest in good cables or do you invest in a buffer? 
uh, technically invest in both. That's what I say. It just it's the just to be sure pedal. Um, I feel that even with the high quality board that I have here and the high quality pedals that I have here and cables, um, there's the tiniest maybe psychoacoustics. I don't know. There's the tiniest bit of clarity that gets robbed when you switch all those pedals on or you go into the loop with those pedals that the buffer gets back. And also when the buffer gets kicked in, it feels it's more dynamic again. It's not as flat. I'm spitting. Um, so there you go. The Bonafide buffer, it clocks in at 60-something uh, bucks right now. Um, really not. If you spend thousands and thousands of euro on your pedal board, this might be something to get. It's the just to be sure pedal. Uh, it's small, it's lightweight, and once you connect the power, it immediately goes into true bypass mode. <laughs> kicks in there, it's a little bit of clarity that comes back. Um, so, that's what a buffer does, that's what the Bonafide buffer does, and it's small, it's TC, you know you love them, um, and it's me, out, thanks, later.